censorship. Censorship is never seen in a truly free society. When censorship occurs, it is a sign that some are trying to control perception. When censorship arrives, you will know that some are aiming to control others, and such control is the antithesis of freedom. In this land where all proclaim their commitment to freedom, it astounds me to see so many just shrugging off the censorship we are seeing. It's a private company. They can do what they want. So I guess it's okay for a private company to say, murder someone on the property? Perhaps you think that's hyperbole, but where do we draw the line? Where do we say, that is where private companies cannot do as they please? And if the property is a public arena of data exchange, how can we say that the owners have the right to manipulate the data that's flowing? Especially when the truth is vital to making sound choices. Especially when it goes against the very foundation of a land that proclaims freedom of speech. Can we be a patriot and sweep censorship under a rug? Not that I'm a patriot per se. I uphold foundational rights. Included is the right to speak freely, to offer what we want to a pool of discussion. Of course, other rights are included as well. All the rights listed in that bill so many hold dear, and too many do not defend, giving lip service only. There are additional rights, like the right to record our perspective at all times. As the ability to record is only a recent development, such a right was not even thought of when that list of rights was being drawn up. Free speech is a foundational right, and any who censor are ethically liable to the ones they censor. If there is a disagreement on anything, counter the claims with details on why the other is wrong. Eliminating the other's words is not only unethical, it's chicken shit. Censorship is a sign that one cannot counter what has been said, and instead fears the truth, as it will disrupt plans, nefarious plans. So, given what we see today, with censorship running rampant, we might suppose there is a nefarious plan playing out. What do they censor? Anything that does not fit the official narrative of the Crown Bug invasion including the injections of who knows what. What plan does the censorship point to? From data coming in, sterilizing us seems to be a main goal, killing many too. Why do you think they're aiming for the children, who they admit stand close to zero chance of issues with the rebranded flu? Depopulation is an admitted goal of the psychopaths in control, they're unethically making choices for others that are not theirs to make. To limit awareness of the unethical moves they're making, they censor the data that show the devious nature of what they're doing. Pushing the experimental, DNA-changing, toxin-filled, sterilizing, microchipping, nanotech-shedding stuff as some glorious miracle, while ensuring few will see the vast issues in all of this by censoring those who offer the data. The lesson we would best learn from this is to believe nothing in the media or from any representative of any company that censors things. Best to move to platforms that do not censor. If we want the truth, we must share it where there is no censorship. If we want one still on the censorship platforms to have truth, we must share directly, send links to friends, as we no doubt are doing now. There is a solution to censorship, but it takes what too many seem to lack, the will to apply it. Still, all we need is for awareness of the solution to hit the tipping point. Then, enough of us will apply it, and the rest will follow.
The solution is for enough of us to withdraw our consent from the psychopathic legal-slash-governmental system and consent to a better foundation. Stand sovereign on ethical ground, being gentle ones when an offer to make one's subject is made, countering the offer, not refusing. I will be happy to answer that, do that, be subject, whatever applies, if you prove I am in your jurisdiction. Once consent is withdrawn, we are no longer in that system, no longer subject, no longer in any jurisdiction, and there is no proof. If we have chosen unethical behavior, we are subject to any ethical consequence we receive, irrespective of what costume or affiliation the ones dealing with us have. And, if you can, help build the foundation for a society of ethical sovereigns, the truly decentralized web, no backbone, the open source site to report problems on, locally with a reach to the whole planet for solutions, and an emergency reporting section. An app that will notify the caring ones of emergencies, the ones who get the app so they can see if they can help. Robots for necessary work no one wants to do. Fear not the robots. When we can live richly, they are a boon doing what no one wants to do. And most importantly, experiment with free energy and share successes freely. For once free energy is flowing, our need to account for our energy to survive, use money, will vanish, and the abundance of our planet will flow to all of us. We all will be able to live as richly as we choose, from a cave in the hills to a mansion, from minimalist to extravagance. Whatever pleases us. And we can add our energy as we love to do. Paid in attention, thanks, appreciation, admiration, respect, fame. And other social currencies. Motivated by caring, compassion, love, and empathy. Things this world run by psychopaths downplay. Profit presently prevails as the nearly exclusive motive for doing anything. So many problems fester because there is no money profit in solving them. When the profit is made in gratitude rather than guilt, we loving-hearted ones, 90 plus percent, will be moved to help. And there will be no censorship. Please see the playlist on uToilet for the blueprint, or check out the links in the description to key vids up on Odyssey. They don't censor. Will you be part of the problem, or part of the solution? Written, voiced, and produced by Amaterasu Solar, Shill for Humanity. Love always. Humanity will win. <laughs>